For this problem, we want to use the graph of f to determine a, the domain of f of x, b, the range of f of x, c, f of negative 2, and d, any x values for which f of x equals 0. For letter a, the domain of f of x is the set of all x values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of x is negative 2, and the highest value of x is 3. However, the point where x is equal to negative 2 does not exist, so we cannot include the point negative 2. The values of x between 0 and 1 also do not exist. We can't include the point where x is equal to 0 because it does not exist, but the point where x is equal to 1 does exist. This means that x is between negative 2 and 0 exclusive, and that x is between 1 and 3 inclusive. So the domain is equal to negative 2, 0, with parentheses on both endpoints because they are excluded, and 1, 3, with brackets on both endpoints because they are included. For letter B, the range of f of x is the set of all y values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of y is negative 4 and that the highest value of y is positive 4. Again, we cannot include the point where y is equal to negative 4 because that does not exist. This means that y is between negative 4 exclusive and 4 inclusive. So we can write the domain as negative 4, 4 with a parenthesis on the left because negative 4 is excluded and a bracket on the right because 4 is included. For letter C, f of negative 2 is the value of the function when x is equal to negative 2. Looking at the graph, we can see that when x is equal to negative 2, the function does not exist. This means that f of negative 2 does not exist. For letter D, we want to find any x values for which f of x equals 0. Looking at the graph, we can see that when y is 0, x is 1, but is not 0 because the point 0, 0 does not exist. So the answer for letter D is x equals 1.